Welcome back to my channel. This is the Vision 101 and today's lesson, today's tutorial is we will discuss how to create a comic using the comic life. So this is a very wonderful lesson because we can enhance our capability on how to create a simple comic using this application. So let's get started. So to, to start with, this is a comic life. Okay? So what is a comic life? Comic life is an application with everything you need to make stunning comic from your own images. So you can create comics, you can create a beautiful story or a comic using your own picture or the picture that you download from the internet or any artwork that you have. You can even make a poster using this comic life. So the problem is how to access with the comic life. Now, uh, in our internet, you just search Comic Life, free download, and you can open this app using this or this site. And when you open this one, this is for uh, this is Comic Life for Windows and Mac. So if you are using Mac, if you are using Windows, you can access with this one. Now you can you can just try uh, 30 days. Okay, we have you no need to buy if you are a first timer or beginner. No need to buy. Just try first the 30 days uh, version, the trial version. So just click the try it for free for 30 days. After that, if you like it, you can buy it. If you're using Mac, you can download the Mac application or the Windows application with it. Now, Comic Life is, this is the, the application Comic Life. So you can create, as what I have said, you can create a comic using this application. Now, in this application, it's similar that you're working with the Microsoft Offices or Office. Uh, so you have your menu here. You have your menu. You have your file, edit, view, insert, format, arrange, window, and help. Okay. So you can you can navigate this one. You have also save. You have print. You have you have email. You can play along with this one this menu and also you have also your new page if you want another page for your comic so if you are saving your file you can save it here by clicking save or you can go to file another one uh, you have also your style you can change the font to bigger font or smaller font and you can also change the color of your font and you can also change the font style that you want to, to, to use so uh, this one is your this one also is your you can zoom in you can zoom out or you can fit to screen if you want to look closer for your uh, comic and also not only that one you can also change the phone style as what I have said the size of your phone and you can go to front and back you can go bold for your phone you can go italic underline you can also arrange your text or your words uh, aligned to the left, center, aligned to the right, or in format mode. So in here, you can see our menu. Okay, I, I zoomed in the menu a while ago. So here you can have the same print, email, new page, zoom in, zoom out, fit, front, back, the style of your panel, uh, the font, bigger, smaller phone, the color of your phone, and the style of your phone. And here also, you have the specific name of phone or the style, the size, bold, italic, underline, and the alignment of your words. Okay, so in this case, here, you have the drag in a template or the layout. So step one, if you are, if you are going to create a comic, all you need to do is to drag the template. So if you are using four pictures for your template, just drag 
the layout. If you are using five, you can drag or you can, uh, if you are using six, you can drag six or you can make your own design of your template. Okay? You can, you can create your personal design by adding, uh, panels on your template. Then number two, here, yeah, in number two, you have also your, uh, photos. So all you need to do is to drag in the photos of your artwork. After you have your your templates, all you need to do is to drag your pictures. You can drag the pictures from your uh, computer, the one that you saved, or from uh, the folder that you saved a while ago, or your pictures folder. Yeah, so you, you, can, you can look for that. Or even using the camera, you can capture picture from the camera. So that's number two. So number three, here down, number three, you can add bubbles and caption. You can add balloons or caption to your comic. So if you want that your picture will say something, you can add speech bubbles. The lettering here, the title, you can use that one. And also you have the caption. This A, B, C, D, E is for the caption. So you can add words on it. So if you can see, uh, Comic Life is very easy to use and you can enjoy doing it. So this is the Comic Life. And this is only the introduction for this lesson. And on uh, the second part, we are going to navigate the inside how the Comic Life will work when we are going to use this one and adding pictures, adding captions and edit, adding panels layout in our comic life. So thank you very much for watching. This is David June 101. And see you for the second video, part two for this lesson.